so we know right from high school physics or college physics that when you have two piece of metal wires metal pieces running you will have some capacitance between those this is known as a coupling capacitance now as the technology nodes are shrinking you are ma basically manufacturing metal layers becoming thin and tall this capacitance between two nodes is becoming much larger than before and also today's uh, asics and devices are working at lower supply voltages so crosstalk because of these two reasons have become more and more important there's more coupling capacitance their voltages are low so impact it impacts more more and more in the designs and it has become an important part of as doing sign of sta analysis what are impacts which happen because of crosstalk the first impact is it can impact delays what happens so let's say when a signal is rising this signal is rising and a corresponding signal which is running in a parallel wire is falling now because of this coupling capacitance this signal let's say is known as aggressor the signal which is changing and it is impacting other signal which is called as victim this coupling capacitance can delay or can slow down the change which is happening on this signal so there is a delta delay or a slow delay <coughs> which happens because of this coupling capacitance also known as, known as noise and it can cause timing failure or set let's say setup time was earlier meeting but because of this delay it is not meeting anymore so it can cause timing delay <coughs> or timing failure which is happening because of coupling capacitance between aggressor and victim so this is known as crosstalk basically the signals which are in, in unrelated to each other are crosstalking or talking to each other or impacting each other this is also known as si analysis in uh, in terms of signal integrity analysis signals integrity is changing so one impact of crosstalk is delay right now delay can be useful also sometimes it may not be always useful but so let's say this signal is changing and the other signal is changing in opposite direction so this is the aggressor and that and it is causing an impact on victim so you introduced an extra delay okay because the total capacitance on the design was increased total capacitance here became coupling capacitance <coughs> so now suppose this signal was falling aggressor but the victim also was falling in that case the delta delay is there but it has become faster the delay has reduced because it has the signal transition will now be faster because of this so it may impact make the whole timing not able to meet okay so delay can be both in positive side it can increase or it can decrease and that one impact of crosstalk is delay and that is when you do sta you uh, you will turn on crosstalk analysis then sta will take crosstalk into account and these delays also take into account for setup hold and other kind of timing checks then you can have another case where this signal is changing but this signal was not changing at all in that case this coupling capacitance can introduce some glitch in this it can cause this signal to change for a small amount of time this can cause functional failure a signal can have a glitch once aggressor signal can cause a change in the signal which was not changing at all by switching and that can cause glitch failure st also checks for this this is known as functional failure because functionally this signal should not have changed but now it's changed 